I hope y'all survived. Happy New Year. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were up to some shenanigans, which is just fine. If I look a little rough, it's because I got barely any sleep last night myself. So, uh, Anyway, first three cards out, I am using, sorry, let me back up. I am using my Moonchild Tarot deck. It's a beautiful deck. I love this deck. I recommend this deck. Okay. The moon in reverse, meaning that there's no longer a secret. Something has come out in the open. Sorry, my hair is like, I literally just slept on it and then got up. So anyway, um, there's no longer a secret about something, um, a person, place, or thing that may have been in your life. Uh, it's coming to light. And actually, it's really interesting because the read that I did yesterday, there was a lot of symbology surrounding the moon with that as well. And a lady walking towards a doorway or a portal, an opening for um, herself and putting down a lot of the burdens. And there was a, you know, the moon, it was a huge theme in there. So I do think it's interesting that the moon is in reverse. Uh, it is the number 18 card. Um, the emperor is also in reverse. So this tells me that secretly there may be something going on with a father figure, with an authority figure, with somebody who has a lot of um, pull in the community or push in the community. Uh, somebody who has a lot of influence, somebody who's able to, usually when the uh, emperor is in the upright, he's a very, he's like a really strong father figure. He's a very um, nurturing, solid, stable, dependable, reliable uh, individual, right? But when he's in the reverse, it literally means that somebody may be experiencing narcissism or going through some type of very self-absorbed, um, they're being an authority almost for themselves so hard that they're projecting that out in the world. So that kind of, it should say a lot about you know, and these cards aren't really masculine or feminine, so you can switch them around. It could be a feminine energy that has, you know, because we've all got masculine and feminine. So if you can change these depending on how this is applicable to your life. But there may have been a secret surrounding somebody of importance, of stature in your life. And that secret has now become exposed. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is here. So I picked these up like this. That's just the way I picked them up. So I'm going to read them like that. Um, the Eight of Pentacles talks of, of building something new or building a relationship from the ground up, block by brick by cement, beams, whatever you want to say. You know, there's a whole bunch of columns going down that corridor right there down the middle. And it's almost like the pentacles are just laid down that path for whoever passes, uh, you know, Anubis over here is able to go ahead and proceed forward. Um, and I also think it's interesting. I don't know why, but the Iliad and the Odyssey just came to mind looking at these cards. Uh, that's the first time that's happened. But I think, you know, that a journey or a life path of somebody may have also come into um, some turmoil or some peril, uh, just a little bit of a hiccup right here. A little secret came to light and that may have been the reason why somebody is now building over here I, I literally am feeling like these are separate energies i don't know why but this doesn't really feel right it's no secret that someone's building that's what this would mean but it more so it fits um just intuitively i feel that this is the way that it's supposed to go so somebody somebody of authority had a secret they did have a secret and now the secret's out cat's out the bag so um, then there's also this new energy of um, resurrection. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story of the ark and all of uh, its greatness from the Bible. Um, it's, a, it's a good story, you know. I think that it has a lot of really nuanced uh, ways to interpret it. And one of those ways I like looking at rainbows more as a signal of hope rather than pride. Um, I think although you do need an ego, um, you know, rainbows are made from droplets of water flying through the air at high speeds during a storm. So I really think after the storm, there's always going to be a rainbow. And that's to give us a promise that it won't happen again. Uh, I think it's interesting 
that the rainbow is actually divided down the middle. So if we were to cut this card down the middle and then swap the two sides side by side, um, then the rainbow would be connected like we're used to seeing it. In this case, somebody needs to avoid potentially a situation that's making them unhappy, um, a situation where secrets are being kept, where uh, there's not very much truth or honesty, there's a narcissist involved, there's somebody who thinks that they know better than um, you how to conduct your life or how to build perhaps, because that's the secret that just came out. So I guess you could, you know, we could, we could flip these situations and say, okay, well, in the upright, the emperor would have been acknowledging that there was a secret. He would have enough integrity, authority, um, self-awareness, and upstanding citizenship to actually approach the moon and just put it on the table. That was stopping somebody from growing or from building something. So now that, that we've gone through this, now that the secret is out, it seems like there, somebody is now free to do what they want to do, to build the way that they see fit, whether it's, you know, including the classical stories from the Bible or the Torah or the Quran or whatever book it is that this person may have grown up on. I, I use, I grew up Christian, so um, I'm not actually Christian. I'm just spiritual at this point, but um, I do understand the significance of uh, the, the Iliad and the Odyssey and the fact that some people's paths are not going to cross um, during certain times. So uh, the other thing I'm really getting from this is like Colosseum pillars. I don't know why. Colosseums are actually in the round, but I'm, I'm seeing this as like a, the rainbows are the art, archways or the like the doorways um, on either side of, of this, you know, parting the Red Sea to make a, a way for yourself forward. Um, if you will, it can seem like a huge daunting task, but there's hope that's still available for you. And especially if you stay on the path of the straight and the narrow, and it does not have a rainbow over it because it may not be easy. Nobody promised that life was going to be easy. They just promised that you're going to at least have a shot at this, this thing that we call existence. So, uh, that's what we're doing. And I think whoever is uh, going towards this, if you look at this card up close, uh, this is actually not sky. That's just straight galaxy. So this is a, a, I feel like this is a very divinely guided and orchestrated um, trajectory that this person is pursuing. And that they may have, uh, you know, if you look at the card from further back, it looks like two dark figures and almost like, um, I don't know why, but I'm just seeing like a face that has ink, like ink blots crying down it. So I'm, I'm looking at this as somebody building their psyche, their physical reality of the world, uh, potentially their uh, emotions, since we're talking about droplets of water flying through the air and making a, a rainbow. Uh, if we're talking about that in relation to a human body, uh, I could be talking about tears about um, hope after having gone through something difficult. So, sorry guys, I just had to, just kind of did it. Anyway, um, that is that. I want to go ahead and get some clarifiers. I am gonna use my Voodoo deck. I love this deck. I don't know if you guys are aware of how many amazing decks are out there, but I was looking uh, I was looking through some other tarot decks that I might be interested in a little bit later and just so impressed by some of the art that's out there and some of the really cool progressions that I've seen just since doing tarot myself. Um, there's been a lot of new decks created recently and they're really uh, thought provoking and I like that. So anyway, you should go check them out. Um, the ones that I liked the most were the resin ones. There's actually clear plastic cards that are tarot cards and they're just awesome. So go check it out. Um, all right. So let me just, I'm just going to pull. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. We'll see what happens. Okay. So I have um, Rada in this place. Okay, so this is more or less, this is like the, the king of, or the knight of swords, excuse me. So um, 
this in combination with the uh, Petro card, or, you know, this is a fire sign card, but it's, it's called Azaka La Flambeau. So to me, just to be honest, this seems like somebody is cutting off something that is not actually serving their highest good. So this is the sack of the flame, you know, or the, um, it's the nuts and berries of the whole issue right here. So somebody is saying in this place, this is not going to be a secret. This new movement forward or this, uh, whatever secret came out had a lot to do with a place that had a flame or a, um, I don't actually see this so much as, uh, if you look at the smoke, it actually has two lovers in a pretty intimate position. If you're under 18, turn this off immediately. Thanks. Okay. Um, and on top of that, you can't see the man's face. He's got on a, a cowboy looking hat thing and, uh, has his head down. So there could have been a secret flame somewhere um, that could be part of what the secret that came out was, that there was a, f a new flame in this place. You know, I don't know. Um, you guys tell me this is has to be applicable to your life. And if it's not, don't force it. Um, the next two cards that came out to go along with the emperor in reverse, that character that we saw there. Oh, this is interesting. So this is the other La Place card that also came out. And this is the fire sign place card. So the first one that we got was Rada, which is air signs. This one is basically the same card, or sorry, yeah, the same card, but has a different interpretation and denotes something very different. Um, this card to me says that somebody is fire starting. So he's using this blade to cut something opened, and that starts a fire from the ground. This is a very green, bluish card. Um, so you could say, I don't know why I'm getting the feeling of um, like Tiffany boxes, like Tiffany ring boxes or something like that. Um, this may be like a, a cutoff of that or a burning of that the cross that I, I'm hearing, the cross that we wear or the, the burdens that we carry. I don't know. So maybe somebody has really um, shouldered a lot and they're ready to cut and chop this emperor, these secrets and everything else in between all the way out. The other card that came out for the emperor being a absolute narcissist was loco in reverse. So obviously, I don't know if you guys know Spanish, but loco does mean crazy. Um, this is uh, I, the IV card as well. So I mean, I'm saying IV for a reason. I do understand what Roman numerals are, but um, you know, this can have a lot to do with some type of addiction as well. This is a man smoking out of a, a pipe in the upright. So you'd be addicted to something out of smoking something out of a pipe and it's a passionate addiction that could be it um this kind of denotes that whoever is in this controlling uh overbearing completely inappropriate narcissistic energy has literally pushed somebody so far that they will do anything to get out of this place where they feel they are being literally branded that's not what i'm hearing is is branding like a cow um Somebody's been branded as if they are a piece of chattel or because they are labeled as crazy. You know, the scarlet letter suddenly pops into my forehead. If someone, um, you know, they used to, whatever, just read the book. Um, basically, somebody may have, have been gaslighting or crazy making or provoking somebody to feel crazy. And finally, this person has come to their senses about the fact that this emperor is never going to be anything but a narcissist. So they've cut them off. You're out of this place. Deuces. For the um, Eight of Pentacles, the building card, I drew Nan Nan Buklau in the reverse. And this is, a, this is an air sign card, number two. 
So this is um, in the upright. This is kind of like the the two of cups a little bit. You see how they're exchanging? There's like an an X marks the spot exchange right between them. This is bartering. This is working together. This is having a community that supports each other that works as a team versus as an I factor. Because there's no, you know, we all know that saying there is no I in team. Um, but in the reverse, this person may not be wanting to work together with somebody anymore. And if if this, all of this that we just saw about this place, the branding, you can't really blame the person, to be honest. Um, Santeria is the other one that came out, and Orate. So there's somebody speaking their truth at this point. This person is not going to put up with unequal give and take in a love situation or in any other situation um, that might arise as, you know, from this authority figure being uh, their secrets pouring out. And now they're going to move, they're going to build forward and pursue truth. They're not going to put up with this. That's largely what I'm getting, is that a lot of you guys, maybe for the new year, some of your resolutions have been something to the effect of, I will never mess with um, X, Y, and Z person ever again, those three people. Or I will never engage myself with this kind of uh, personality trait ever again, X, Y, and Z. And, you know, I think that's something that, although some people kind of find difficult to do, it's healthy to cut people off if they're hurting you. It's not okay for them to hurt you. And it, from what I'm getting from this reading, especially given that somebody was being called crazy, like I couldn't make this up, guys. I, you saw me shuffle the cards and just put it out here. But if, if somebody is being framed or, you know, a gaslighting is what I'm getting from this. I don't know uh, how, how better to express it to you, but I'm feeling like somebody put, this is a very pointed, point, like somebody intentionally is this was their target, was to make you an addict through an IV or through a, um, you know, some type of a, a attachment, maybe to, to the secret that you didn't know about. If you didn't know, then you could have been attached to it. And as soon as it flipped on, the, on its head, well, there you go. You're no longer being made crazy. So, um, that's another option. Um, I think, you know, this oriate also kind of gives me the feeling that someone needs to speak up a lot more. That might be you, or it could be this other person in the read, because there are multiple entities, or I feel like, you know, energies involved in this. Let me get, I'm just nosy. I just want to know. So let me just pull like a couple more clarifiers to see what that was all about. Because it can't just all be about the hokey pokey. Um, okay. I guess it could, but that's because that's what it's all about. Um, anyway, I don't know. I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. My jokes are going to be horrible. <laughs> all right. So... I'm getting clarifiers for these ones even because I don't want to, I want ambiguity. Okay. Just a couple shuffles and then we'll continue. Then. All right. So give me a second. Okay, so there's some, there might have been an offer on the table here, is what I'm getting. Um, somebody may have refused some type of an offer. Keep keep in mind the reading that we just got done doing with the authority figure, the narcissist, the, the secrets coming out, and the person building something new. Just keep that in the, the back of your mind as you're listening to this. This is a title card. And I actually put the apple over her face because I don't like the fact that women are always blamed for biting the apple and we're not cursed. Uh, we are cursed as in we, we are the ones that teach our children cursive and we are the ones that probably do some of the grunt work, including pushing the baby out, that makes us want to scream. And it's a natural thing. It's not 
at all like you don't like your kid at all. It's just the stories and the narrative behind motherhood has been diminished largely by perception, by the the view that we get from our phone, from the Bible, from the Quran, from these different um, institutions of thought that exist surrounding spirituality. And this is the title card. So I want her to still get the title, even though, you know, she was not the original Adam. The original Adam's apple is now what I'm hearing because we had that orate card and I just said someone needs to speak up. This may be the person that needs to speak up. Is the person that's cloaked or hidden behind. Somebody's being like pushed behind is what I'm getting. That I mean, usually I just look at this card as like she's got a really wise head. Like that's why I put the sticker there. But today I'm getting that she was pushed behind the apple and then blamed maybe for eating it and being crazy for starting the crazy making. Um, but, you know, it's also funny because God said that, at least in the Bible, that women are the man's rib. So if your rib can beat the crap out of your entire will and body, you you were given free will. So it's a, kind of a big feat to do. But somebody's not accepting this anymore. Somebody's not going to stay submerged behind whatever a tomfoolery this is. That's not going to happen. This somebody, somebody is really unhappy. Like literally somebody is genuinely not happy about this. And it, it could be, this also can sometimes uh, mean alcoholism or indulgence, too much indulgence of some type because it is water. It can sometimes mean, you know, bodily waters and fluids being swapped. We'll just leave it there. Um, so that could be part of what that secret was about as well. Um, I mean, take it or leave it if it applies to your situation. But um, this person may have been, you know, a subject to somebody else's addiction that they didn't even know about, that the moon was in reverse for. Um, this person has now come to a point where of temperance. So if you can see, this angel has two cups pouring, mixing back and forth is what I'm getting here. And on her chest, she has a big old triangle, which is, you know, I guess you could say that's like a delta sign. So when you think about the deltas of a river coming together right before they go out into the ocean, it does make sense that if somebody's starting on a new track to build something brand new for themselves, the temperance card would pop out. They, you got to get balanced within yourself first before you can really move towards the next chapter of your life. This may not be being communicated. And I, I'm going to go back to this again. That's what I was trying to say about the oration card. I don't know why, but there's this voice. You know, I think that card said Santeria. Yeah. This card says Santeria. The, maybe this Santeria is a religion, if you didn't know that. You can look it up on whatever platform you use, um, bing it up. But this is a group of people I'm getting that are either in front or behind. I don't know. It's for your, you to decide or understand. And whatever unhappiness has occurred here, this angel is coming by to temper things out. The fact that she can't talk. She's not talking. She can't talk. She doesn't know how to talk. Maybe she doesn't speak the same language if it's from a different, if she's Santeria, maybe she speaks Spanish and can't communicate with somebody who speaks French or somebody who speaks, you know, I don't know, Chinese, Mandarin, like whatever. Chinese, I just say that. Um, you know, uh, Mandarin or, or some other kind of orangey flavored, like just different varieties of language flavors, you know, that's a lingual thing. It's about your tongue. It's about spitting it out, spit it out, let the cat out the bag. And this is the temperance that's needed to kind of correct this topsy turviness. Unfortunately, no intuition was used by somebody who, you know, is going through this right now. When the high priestess part is in reverse, either the high priestess is not happy 
or she's not actually the high priestess. She's not this this person who's trying to remain tempered may not be as knowledgeable or as um, well versed. That's so weird. All this stuff about language is coming through right now. Um, as well versed as they could be. These cards say JB on them. Okay, and she's got the moon at her feet. The fact is we just saw the moon come out so many times that it would make sense that this is the dynamic. Um, there's a Virgo in the situation who is looking at this, who is shedding light on the fact that there is some type of lack of intuition that this person was going through. And the Virgo is not left out in the cold about that. They actually do understand what is going on or the lack of intuition that was used, and it left somebody without any choice. So that last, uh, the choice to move forward and build because the secret came out, um, that's probably gonna be something that uh, the person was forced into. Um, it doesn't really look like that that was their first inclination was to just kind of toss it to the wind and start over again, but what are you gonna do if, if you've been lied to, you know? That sucks for everybody involved. So um, hopefully this is not your situation. I don't I don't wish that on anybody to start the new year. But I am going to read you the cards because that's the way that they came through. Um, I will go ahead and do another read for specific signs. Um, I'm not going to do every single sign every single week. I just don't want to do it. I am going to splice in some new items that I think would be helpful to everybody in our spiritual ascension, um, especially as we rise above all the BS, you know, just rope like, look at, I got my little, got my little roses because like, you got to rise above it. Sorry, that's my, my cat's old. <laughs> he died, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and wish you guys a good, happy new year and uh, give you that at least initial kind of snapshot of what may be headed your way or po potentially what you're going through right now. I will definitely see you guys next time. Take care of yourself in the meantime. Be kind to yourself and others. Stop it. If that's you with the secret and the lying and the manipulation and the narcissism, just stop. Just stop. Because that's just not a good way to start the new year. You don't want that on you whatsoever. So go Go freshen up if that is the case. Um, go freshen up anyway, even if it's not you. Just pamper yourself and um, have a wonderful first day of the new year. I will definitely see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.